Hey guys, how's it going? Max here with my day two of week two of prep cycle two of advanced small load uh, from the Shaco app. Today, or excuse me, this day was deadlift. So I did some conventional and I did some sumo. I've been trying to work in sumo a little more because I have terrible imbalance between my quads and my posterior chain, specifically my hamstrings and glutes. So I've been trying to work in a, you know, a tiny bit of sumo. My technique is not, is still subpar and I'm really working on improving it. So generally what I've been doing is I've just been doing some warm up sets, sumo, and then I'll jump into conventional for the heavy sets just because I'm much more confident with conventional. And then there was also some bench press. Again, 250 was the working weight. It was, what was it? Five triples that day. So again, a lot of just fast straight sets which is kind of a theme i have noticed in this program and i actually find it extremely useful for myself i'm not sure if everyone would benefit from this but i i found it very useful just touching the bar so many times i mean one two three it's like eight total sets including kind of sub maximal warm-up sets but you know eight that's eight times to touch the bench press, you know, and set up and, you know, feel what's, feel pretty much how to optimally set up on the bench press and, you know, just tiny little stuff where you're putting the bar, where you're putting the bar on your chest, you know, how you're using your lats, squeezing the fuck out of the bar, just all that little shit. So that's really useful. I was also supposed to do some lat accessory dips and good mornings, standing good mornings, but I had some shit to do that night and the workout already took a minute. So I cut it out. I have been, I wouldn't say lazy with the, with the accessory work. I, I actually will do, if you're familiar with winning warmups, I'll do that before. So I did some hamstring curl and some goblet squat, and I think some plank before I squatted. So that's, you know, I'll knock out some accessory stuff in the beginning to improve my conditioning, my work capacity, kind of get a pump, get everything feeling loose. And then afterwards, if I'm still filling up to it, I'll do whatever the prescribed accessory stuff is. Um, so that's about it. Let's get into the workout. I'll touch on bench first. All right, so this is what I did for bench. Again, five by three, 250. There you can see I wrote majority of sets done close grip. So again, I just been digging the close grip. Feels good, stacks good. Uh, I don't know what it is. I feel like when I push it, I just, it feels better to push. Been really trying to squeeze the fuck out of the bar. That's that's one cue I am really bad at. So I've been really working on that. This bar I was using this day is like super narrow, like Texas deadlift bar narrow. So it's really easy to squeeze. Like zero knurling on it though. Kind of a shitty bar. Um, that will move pretty fast. Let's check this one out. Oh. Again, another cue, working on at least keeping my legs tight. Leg drive is pretty subpar right now, but keeping them tight. See, like, that looks like it's stacking pretty good, so I like that. Squeezing the fuck out of the bar. And I'm getting a little bit of that heave off the bottom. One of my buddies was telling me about that. That's kind of the Mark Bell deal, you know, or Dan Green. Okay, my hands are white, so I think I used shock on this set. I don't know. This one was a little wider, the grip. I think I kind of went like thumb to where knurling ends. Uh oh, there you go. And uh, like with the leg drive, I've been more just trying to, you know, get my feet flat and comfortable because I have really bad hip mobility, which is part of the reason I'm trying to learn to pull sumo. That was fast. Even that little wider grip is just off the chest. It's a little slower, a little more stable overall, but slower off the chest for sure. You don't get that that speed off the chest. This one I think was a little wider also. I mean, when we're talking a little wider, we're talking maybe an inch or two, but to me that's a huge difference. Pretty good using the lats, you know, really pulling it in, trying to bend the bar. And since I started this program, my bench has just gotten technically so much better, so pretty awesome. This is what I did for deadlifts. Uh, you can see the first three sets, those were kind of the warm up sets. We're all done sumo and beltless with a double over overhand or mixed grip. I didn't record any of those 
because they're so ugly right now. Maybe next time I'll record some. I think I'm doing block pulls uh, tomorrow, so maybe I'll do some of those sumo and I'll, I'll get some filmed. There we go. This is 470 for a triple. I really hate filming from this angle because you just see how fucking rounded my my upper back is and it just looks ugly as fuck. But, uh, you know, hey, the weight's moving, man. Gotta decrease that range of motion. Get closer to the bar. Not bad, though. Move pretty fast. Here I had to go portrait because uh, no one was filming for me all alone. But these were pretty good, 495 for three doubles. And in the past, I think my best with 495 is a set of five, like an AMRAP set of five. At that time, I was pulling close to 585. Um, so these doubles, I you know, I liked it. I felt like I probably had at least one or two left in the tank if I really wanted to grind some shit out. So, you know, not bad, S steady. And I've been really trying to just keep a steady pull through the movement because I, in the past I've had a real tendency to rip the bar off the floor, get stuck in my knees, and just be so fucking rounded over it's ridiculous, you know. So I've been trying to make a better effort of, you know, starting a little slower off the ground and just keeping that tightness. And right now it, it's a, you know, my deadlift is about as strong, I think, as it, at the strongest I've been in the past when I pulled 585. And my technique is just a little more... I guess safe and sound, so I'm liking it. I think it's pretty good. I take forever to set up, do the old roll, bam. Nice, see, hips took a second to get through on I think the last two with 495, but yeah, see that one was a little better. And one of the things I've probably been working on in the last like year is just really trying to actively get my hips through, because again, I'm around I round my upper back when I pull, so, you know, I got to straighten out once I get to the top. And just really thinking about, you know, firing your hips. It's a good cue to help you get through. There we go. And again, these are all done mixed grip. I don't really, generally, I don't really fuck with straps. I just have found that when I use straps, that time was weird, actually, because I, like, did a, you know, a pump fake, and then I pulled it. But, uh... In the past, when I've used straps, my grip strength just has not been as strong. So whenever I'm pulling something heavy, it's like I generally just don't use straps because straps, I'm just, it's one of those things. I love using straps because it's so much more fucking comfortable. You know, mixed grip is, it tears your fucking hands up. It's not very comfortable. So I've been, you know, staying away from the straps for a while. Obviously, there's application for straps. I'm not saying you should never use straps. That would be ridiculous. But, uh... Personally, with when pulling conventional, I'm a you know if I were to compete, I would pull mixed grip. So it's like that's how I practice. So you know, it, let's say you're having pretty bad grip issues. I would say the first thing I would look at and try to eliminate is straps and in in sets where you don't necessarily need them. You know, if you're pulling a double, you you know, and you you can't you can't hold the bar, you can't pull a mixed grip or hook grip. It's like something's wrong, man, and you got to start practicing with a mixed grip or a hook grip a little more. Um, anyways, so yeah, deadlifting went pretty well. Pretty happy with the speed. Um, I actually did that almost, I think it was that exact same workout. I was supposed to do it off blocks last Saturday and I ended up just doing it from the floor uh, because I was at a, a gym in Las Vegas and I wanted to show everyone how much I could deadlift like a, an asshole, just kidding. But that's kind of why. <laughs> Anyways, so deadlifting went pretty well. I liked it. 495's moving faster than it has in the past, like before I started this program. And then bench press is pretty solid. 250 is feeling good in my hands. So, again, very happy with the program. Um, I just finished my day three of week two before, you know, I did this whole voiceover thing. So that went well. Um, I'll probably upload that video thinking tomorrow I could probably get that uploaded or was Saturday or Sunday. So we'll see. Uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching and, you know, stay tuned. See how this shit goes. I'm telling you, it's going to work well. So later.